Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are going to build some cool stuff today. I have got, <laughs> you know, not setting it up for failure or anything, but I have got, this is a shadow box. Um, so like a trinket display thingy, jiggy box thing in the shape of a house. And this has been in Millie's room for years, like, almost 10 years maybe I don't know um and and it's, she's, she's overhauled her room it this does not fit her current aesthetic of you know of, of tweeny teeniness so I got it it's mine I've had plans for this for so long because I'm I really really think that it's perfect to make it to a doll's house for the mini dolls so we are going to populate this with mini dolls we're gonna turn it into a house so we're going to mod it out <laughs> with Lego, make a whole world of Lego furniture for our Lego family who's going to live in here. And they're actually like little pokey rooms that are already lined at the back. It's really pretty, but I don't, I don't quite know what's going to fit in each section. So I thought if we start with these two bigger areas with the bigger rooms in the house, like the kitchen and the lounge room, uh, that would be a good place to start and then just see how we go from there. So we're building furniture, let's start. So kitchen. My plan is to make some modular bits like a fridge and a cabinet and an oven and an end table-y kind of thing. So you can move them all around, see how they fit in, but they all have to tie in together. And because none of this is actually gonna be connecting to the floor, they also need to be quite stable. So first up, we've got a fridge and this fridge door has actually come out of Olivia's house. It's still looking fantastically good. And we've modified this just a little bit. It's still pretty much the basic fridge from Olivia's house, but we're gonna be building it a bit taller. And on the top, see, we've got, we got, <laughs> we've got the milk in there. That's fine. That's all the fridge needs. <laughs> on the top, I'm going to, oh, this is what I want to do. I want to see if I can make this look as little like Lego as possible. So limited exposed studs. So I'm only going to have studs where I need to connect things onto furniture or where I really, really can't avoid it. But my plan is no exposed studs. So everything's smoothed over surfaces. So it looks like you know, doll's house furniture. So it does not look like Lego. So on the top of the fridge, we're going to be just filled with plants this place. So on the top of the fridge, we've got some plants. Yay! <laughs> Prepare yourself. This is going to be a planty house full and full of plants. So on top of the fridge, I already said that three times, we got plants. Now next to the fridge, we're going to use this green cabinet because green's going to be our theme color. Because I think, was the wallpaper up there green? I think it's. Uh, and we're going to make this the stove top. So let's backfill because it sits out from the wall a bit to actually line up. We the fridge and then we have got oh for the stove top I want a nice smooth flat cooking top very modern verse which is nice and some claws up here to hold yeah that's gonna be the right the right height and we do have exposed studs up here but I'm going to put some bottles on them yeah that's where we store the wine bottles and on the claws we're going to put a whole heap of kitchen utensils so <laughs> random spoon whisk spatula and a cleaver and just trying to make that spoon line up better, but it's not going to. Okay, so this is going to go beautifully here. On the end, I don't know how much room we actually have left in this little space. So I'm going to make a rounded over end table-y thing or an end work surface or food preparing surface for what we've already built and then see if I have room to add some more into here. And I've only got one exposed stud on the top so we can put a pie on it. Ta-da! There we go. Let's go and see how this is going for the space that we have. So fridge fits nicely. That's really good. And this goes in beautifully. And these actually, I've made them tall deliberately because the wall's quite high. There's not a lot of room left. Uh, but I do want to put in a little kitchen mat here. Over here, <laughs> knocking things over. Over here, I just want to put in a little morning table or a little tiny dining table. And for this, we're going to use these smooth tile pieces and we're going to hold them together with these don't know what they're called, inverted stud things. And these studs with the holes in them are going to be perfect for us to attach. Let's put four of them in each corner for us to attach just legs, which are just going to be simple sticks. And these are things we wouldn't normally put or regularly so much put into uh, Lego builds because they don't attach to base plates. So I'm going to make as much furniture as I can too that you often wouldn't put into a normal Lego build. So freestanding ones. We want some kitchen chairs. So these are going to make some really nice legs for kitchen chairs and this uh, will attach them. These, these chairs actually came, I haven't changed them at all. They are exactly, they are the ones that came out of the Simpsons house but they're going to look really good for this because no exposed studs. Nice smooth surfaces, looks like I bought one. 
Okay, so we need another chair. We need a matchy matchy chair. Let's just whap one together nice and quickly. Ah, uh, there we go. And they're nice and small, these chairs. They don't take up a whole lot of real estate. On the top here of the table, we're going to put a little display bowl with some display cherries in it, but they're not attached to the top here because Doll's House Furniture stuff doesn't normally attach together. So we are going to be experimenting with all sorts of different designs here, but I love that bowl with a little, little inverted cone bottom. And I don't think we can fit anything more into our kitchen. It looks so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, kitchen is good. I like the kitchen. Let's find out what we're gonna be able to fit into our living room. It has some quite bold wallpaper. So we're going to make an orange couch, which I have made this couch before. And I'm remaking it for this video. I actually think, I cannot remember what I made this for before, but it's actually a, a modified, like a smallified version of the couch from the Friends like the sitcom Friends build. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but it's a very, very cool design. I like it so much. And I actually really, really like the bold orange, <laughs> which is something I never thought I would say. I wonder if I put this down, whether that would make, no, that doesn't make good feet. There's this big gaping hole at the back. Okay, let's make the other arm for the other side. So it's exactly the same, just as a mirror image. And we're going to cover over those exposed studs with a cushion. And, oh, actually, speaking of cushions, we're going to have a free-floating cushion. This is one that I've put a washi tape sticker on it just to make it, you know, give it a bit of pattern. It's so pretty. So there's a cushion now. And let's make a little coffee table. These section panel pieces are normally used to hold the mini doll feet in place in the seats, but they're going to make a fantastic base for our coffee table. Look at that. And we don't, because we're not attaching this to anything. It doesn't matter that it doesn't attach. It's free floating. Let's put a mobile phone on here. And then I think, what else are we going to put in? <gasps> okay, let's use some illegal Lego techniques. I'm excited. We're going to use <laughs> these tiles pieces all of these are tiled so they have no exposed studs and we're going to just shove them into each other like this and you'll see why in a moment so if we stick them in like this and then the other one in here is that right no hold on I want to turn that around because I want all the smooth bits facing upwards if, I don't know if that makes any sense. It'll make sense once we put this other bit on to hold them all in place. And now we've got a fantastic TV stand with a bit of grub in it that I'm trying to clean out. A TV stand! Oh yay, that looks, oh, actually I can push this up a bit. Uh, there we go. Now, nice smooth TV stand. We're going to put a big, nice flat screen TV on it. Uh, we're just going to put these little claws on as the feet for it and then we just sit it on our fancy schmancy new, oh, hold on, I'm broken. <laughs> fancy schmancy new TV stand. <laughs> but we're not done yet. We need more stuff. This is exhausting building all the doll's house furniture from scratch. We need a bookcase. And I want to make it a skinny one because I want to try and fit it behind the sofa kind of in that section. And this bookcase is almost exactly the one from uh, the expert creator, the modular, the book, the bookshop. But I've changed it just a little bit at the bottom and I'm gonna change it at the top. But apart from that, all the rest of it is exactly the same. It's such cool building techniques, putting all these, like see all the outsides are smooth and all of the books are smooth. So all of the studs are just getting hidden away and they're turning into books. And this is gonna plug that in here. And then we have another one on the other side. This one's gonna plug our other smooth bit, our other big uprighty bit on the other side. And then if we put this in the middle, we can put a smooth tile across the top. And now we're just going to make a little bit of an ornamentation on the top just to finish it off. There we go, that is very skinny, but I think it's gonna, yeah, it stands up fine on its own. Right, let's see how these fit in here. So bookcase at the back, and then we put our TV stand here with the TV on it, and the, couch we'll go we're kind of going to put it in the middle of the room yeah in front of that bookcase half in front of the bookcase because i've got plans for the other side of the room footstool in i keep trying to call it a footstool it's not a footstool it's a coffee table it can be either really but i do want to put something in this little space here to kind of hide that inverted stud on the other side of the tv stand so i'm going to build a plant of course i'm going to build a plant when you have an empty space fill it with a plant so here's our plant pot or our plant stand we're going to just make our green 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 go up Gonna layer different textures of green, another one of these, and then two more of the leafy things on top of each other. And then we're gonna stick one of the things in the top. <laughs> They're all things, that's my excellent descriptor. And that's gonna maybe fit in that spot, I think. Now, 
a chameleon is gonna have his little his little habitat in here in that space behind the couch so we have our drawers and he needs his glass glass cagey thing and gosh there's cat hair everywhere in my room at the moment I need to give it a good vacuum but I don't think it's gonna help cat hair just gets everywhere okay chameleon is in we'll put some lights on the top and then we're gonna cover it over with a nice smooth tile for the lid and on the top let's put some more plants and I'll put this plant on a little stand as well to give it some more stability and this one's going to be a succulent if we squish enough of these green grapes with the bally bits upwards it looks like a little bally succulent plant isn't it cute look it's a bally succulent plant ha let's make a skinny plant stand with little plants little little ones so orange pots and if I stick this in yeah that works nicely maybe a different one we might make this one a bit higher put a gold stud underneath and put a different plant <laughs> that keep rolling around so they're definitely going to need to be held onto something so let's make our skinny plant stand out of no that doesn't work let's tip it upside down upside down yeah and then we can put them on either end and take it up off the floor a bit with these little pin holders and we're not finished yet put this underneath that's so cute that's like a nice side table or or a I don't know what you call them the skinny tables you put behind couches which is exactly what we're going to do with these let's put this plant in this corner and hope that it all fits and knocks the phone off it is getting very fiddly in here but it does it looks really good there okay so chameleon in this corner and our skinny plant stand tabley thing behind the couch here oh my gosh that looks so good there's actually room here for not a mat but a couple of cushions on this sticker with a bit of scribbling musicy stuff as well that looks amazing oh my gosh okay awesome we've got a kitchen we've got a living area down here these rooms are significantly smaller so let's make a laundry okay so for an ironing board a surfboard is exactly the right shape this is so good now how do we put legs on this so if we use these cool holdery pieces I don't know what they're called they've got a bar on them so bar stud something or others we can put clips on them like this and we could kind of maybe use these as legs let's see no that does not balance so now if we put this on that should give it a bit more st I'm breaking it let's put these on like this first and then see where the other ones actually fit into but before we do that we're going to smooth over those studs smooth them over that actually looks a lot more finished too that looks really good so where are these going to go they can actually go yeah nice hold on that's popping off let's try that's that's so good okay nice ironing board's looking good let's give it an iron the easiest iron in the world <laughs> not quite it looks like a flat iron from from the olden days and we do have one exposed stud there at the back but I just can't kind of do anything about that I'm gonna ignore that for now I might be able to fix it later now I want to make an internal drying rack and these are going to do that very very nicely so we're using pieces I wouldn't normally use a whole lot in my builds so this is a really fun challenge to make dolls house furniture out of Lego so this is going to be the drying rack bit and we're going to need some more of these claw things to make the legs so four of these and I think we could probably get a bit of stability with four of them but trying to get them all to, <laughs> to line up the same way it's gonna make it make my brain hurt a bit so if I put a rod on the bottom of each of these it just looks more finished and it's also more stable okay oh nice a little wire inside drying rack for your delicates for those things that'll dry quickly inside a little bit wonky I'm going to just leave it alone maybe the legs look a bit wonky why are they not sitting straight <laughs> oh that's a bit better no I don't know that it is let's just turn it around yeah the other way looks great <laughs> let's leave it like that and hang some things from it so some claws are going to make just some random hangy stuff and I just like a bit of color to you know yellow and green it's very vibrant and the wallpaper in there is green again too so it's all gonna match up nicely pop that in here good we've got some things hanging from our drying rack ah oh, that looks really good it's not quite just leaves, seems a little bit askew but hey <laughs> wire hanging racks are generally they're notoriously wonky we need uh that thing I know what it is and I'm building it and it is a washing machine thing for washing clothes so transparent piece in the middle for that bit you stuff it into this is going to be you stuff it into the hole in the middle it's a front loader and 
Is that the right thickness? I think that'll be a really good thickness. So let's take this up just a bit higher. Got some forward facing studs to put a control panel on in a moment. And we'll smooth over the top and I've got plans to put things on here. Here's our control panel. It looks a lot like a computer keyboard, but now it isn't anymore. It's the control panel for our washing machine. <laughs> and on the top, uh, some different types of washing detergent in colors that anybody who does a lot of washing around the house will recognize exactly what brands <laughs> these particular washing liquids and stuff are. There's our stuff again. Let's put them up. Two different choices. <laughs> one for colors, one for whites, one for vibrant colors. How much room have we got in here? I, I really want to put some more in, but let's see how much room we've got to start with. So washing machine in here. We can sneak this in the side here. I reckon there's room behind. Yeah, there's room behind our drying rack to make just a little bench or a little set of storage cabinety kind of things and in green with green drawers on them is pretty pretty and colorful and cheerful and trust me if you are doing laundry you need all the cheerful you can get orange for the top and up here we're going to put a basket securely secured up there in the basket securely secured are pegs these cool things are pegs now look at our peg basket and on the other remaining stud a plant i think let's put another plant in there just to cheer up the corner of the laundry room and you have to remember to water that one but i do want to have another basket with this poncho from one of the minifigures uh, that's going to make some really nice unironed or unwashed washing stuff here in our laundry so if we put this right back in the corner and then put our wire rack back in front of it and our laundry basket just want to angle that a bit can go over here and I do not think we can cram anything else in here I'm just going to move this around a bit see can't see that exposed stud so I'm going to pretend it's not there okay what else <laughs> I've got so many plans one at a time this middle room is going to be like the entryway which gives me the perfect opportunity to use these chairs which are actually mini figure chairs if we tip them upside down they're going to make a table a big long entryway table that table that you dump your car keys on and all of the random stuff that you bring in after you've gone out shopping then <laughs> the flat surface so speaking of flat surfaces we're going to smooth over the top and now we've got a fantastic looking long table and i don't want to put anything on it yet i want to make a fancy floor lamp uh as a feature in here that was a lot of f's so this is not gonna be overly stable but we'll fix that in a moment so a fancy floor lamp with fringing blue fringed fancy floor lamp oh and let's put this on this this is gonna be the pull cord oh it's pretty oh that's so it's pretty but really not stable so we do need this here that's really lovely. Now on the other side, ah, uh, yeah, okay. This is the fancy furniture room where you don't actually spend any time. You just walk through it all the time. So <laughs> grandfather clock. Uh, yep. So this build is all, I've changed it a tiny bit on the bottom, I think, but it's, this is pretty much straight out of one of the frozen castles maybe the arendelle castle i can't remember so we need but it, yeah i think it's the arendelle castle there are two of them now though so i can't remember which one but grandfather clock that's that's so cool now on this what are we gonna put on it plants well like, we're gonna put some plants on it but i want to make all the plants a little bit different so have different containers or different designs and bit plant crazy at the moment so this time we're going to use these squiggly wiggly plants that's their technical name. And I think we can put on the top of these a flower, one of these older style Lego Friends flowers. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, let's see though that whether these actually fit all together in here. So I want them all lined up along the back wall. This could be a bit, oh no, like, oh wow. They fit so perfectly. It's like this was perfectly designed to be a Lego doll's house, but I want to build a mat, a fancy mat for our fancy entryway room. And to do that, we're going to make a mosaic. We're going to use our quarter pie pieces and all of these cool dots style pieces to make a mosaic mat. Uh, and I think all of these pieces came out of the Lego dots uh, picture frame set. So I've already kind of made this configuration before for the for the picture frames but i've changed it up popped it all on a nice big black plate to make a rug let's see how this looks now oh that's so fancy <laughs> okay 
Why? What are we going to put in this room? Oh, I've got a plan. We've got our granddad mini doll and I love him so much. He's going to live in this, this with this family. So he needs his own granddad room. Going to build him his own granddad bed. And his granddad bed has to be just a little bit old fashioned, but still pretty because granddads deserve pretty things. So this bed is exactly out of the bookshop again. And I barely had to change it. it is everything. I love the colors are gorgeous. The embellished bed head is just perfect. So here's granddad's bed. Let's put his pillow on. No exposed studs. Ah, it's cute. What else is going to have in his room though? How about a set of drawers in a slightly more traditional or old fashioned style? You know, nice lacquered wood, lacquered wood, <laughs> oiled wood. Very, very classy, but a little bit old fashioned. Uh, so we need these on here and this is going to be quite stable on the top, smoothing it over, leaving some jumper studs there to attach stuff like a coffee cup or a teacup and a newspaper who's been reading about those ninjas. Those dastardly ninjas. What have they been up to this time? And he needs a lamp for reading by. I love this lamp design. It's beautiful. Let's put this over here on the other side. And I reckon, I reckon we can't fit anything else in here because it's quite a long side table-y uh, set of drawers thing. Okay, and the bed in there, yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's so, so cozy and pokey. But we are going to use a mat. This mat is actually a Lego mat from the Lego Disney Princess Accessories pack. They had some fabric mats. This looks perfect in Granddad's room. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we filled up half of this. I am exhausted from creating all of this Dell's house furniture from scratch. We've still got a lot more to go. So we're splitting this video into two parts. We're going to start with the bathroom next time around. So I have plans, so many more plans, but I want you to let me know in the comments what you think of this so far, how you think I've gone, any ideas you might have for the top half. <laughs> and I'll be back with the rest of this really soon. So keep checking back in. Not too long and we will finish up our Lego doll's house. Okay, see you soon. Okay, bye. <laughs> that was a lot of okays. Is that okay? I think that's okay. Okay.